Greg Tepper, Dave Campbell's Texas Football and TexasFootball.com here at the THSCA Coaching School and Convention in San Antonio with the new, I guess still new, you haven't coached a game yet, so the new head coach of the Hutto Hippos. Uh, it is Coach Brad LaPlante. Coach, appreciate you taking a little bit of time to yes, slum it with us. It's good to be here. It's awesome to see this coverage just at a uh, coaches convention, only in Texas. Man. Only, only in Texas. Well, only in Texas do we have guys that are worth talking to, right? You know, that's, that's kind of part of the deal. I want to start, you know, we you, you get the uh, Coach, coach Stephen Animator, you know, retires. Nobody really retires, <laughs> especially football coaches. That's right. You get promoted from the offensive coordinator position. Um is there is there a you know Coach Van Meter was such a, a great influence for what for what Hutto did for so long? Is is there any sort of idea that you got to come in and change things, or is it just you know, and put your stamp on the program, or is it just steady as she goes? No, I mean, Coach Van and I total opposites, r- really different people, <laughs> but just we we coincided. We had such a good working marriage together that you know opposites attract or whatever mm-hmm. you want to say there, and and he was really good at the forward button. <laughs> and he was a great delegator. I mean, let me just tell you, there's nobody better. I learned a lot with that. But, you know, because of that, he let me build relationships within the school, mm-hmm. the community, downtown, the admin building. Um, I was the guy that communicated to the team. I knew what his expectations were. They weren't unrealistic. Mm-hmm. I knew what he wanted. They were right in line with things that, that I would do as a head coach. So there would be times where... You know, I would put something out into the public or just within our team or tell our coaches, hey, we need to get this done today. And he was fine with it because he knew it was the right way. And so that's probably why we work very well together because we just believe in doing things the the right way and and treating the kids as you motivate them. Sure. And, you know, Coach Van was there for so long. You know, you come in. You're not a new voice in the room, but you are a, a different voice, yes, a sir. different loudest voice in the room. W- what has been the, the, the reaction from the players as far as, you know, you taking over and, and being the new guy? Well, I, I think, uh, you know, th- I'm going to go from the parental standpoint. Sure, the, yeah, that's, that, that's probably more you know, important. I, I, I'm going to start there because that, that's where the complaints have come from. Mm-hmm. I communicate too much. <laughs> so that, that's my one complaint I've gotten. And that's, I, I'm big with organization and planning and trying to get information out so people can be prepared. So in the end, I'm, I don't want any excuses for me, mm-hmm. our staff, or, or the kids. So mm-hmm. um, I, I think that's been good. You know, the kids have been, been great. They, they understand maybe more why I treat them the way that I do. And there, there are some individuals that I've met throughout my life that have motivated me. There's some people that have fallen through the wayside that I maybe don't deal with anymore mm-hmm. and they've made mistakes in their life well my, my job is to help them propel them to the highest level I think they understand that both academically sure. community you know spiritual minded so when they understand who I'm all about it's been really really well received uh, Hutto's a town full of crazy people and I mean that in the nicest possible way football crazy people um and and you know last year you guys got a, got a taste and, and things started rolling and things started getting getting going. Do you feel this kind of um, excitement in the community when you're when you're around there? Because you guys you know you're ranked in Dave Campbell's Texas football. We we expect you guys to be pretty darn good this year. Do you sense in the community that 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 they get that? I think anybody that is associated with our program definitely feels yeah. that. You know, you can't go to the grocery store. The <laughs> I guess I get caught at the the Wagabag gas station for <laughs> 25 minutes. Uh, which is fine. You, you like that excitement, and, you know, that's the advantage of being a one-horse town mm-hmm. right now in Hutto and, and just people, you know, it, it might be twenty nine to 32,000 people, whatever the numbers say, but it, it still feels like it's a town of 5,000. Everybody mm-hmm. knows each other. The, the small-town qualities uh, are still there, and it, it's a good time to be a Hutto hippo, let me just say that. It, it really is, and, you know, we're going to talk about kind of the, 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 the headliner, the guy that everybody's talking about in a minute, but I do want to focus on your defense for a second because yes, I sir. think you're, I think for all the talk around Chase and the, and, the, and the quarterback and then the offense, and you're an offensive guy, but you guys got a heck of a defense coming back too. Yes, Landon sir. Watson is a real star and, and, and stuff like that. So, so I'm, I'm interested, you know, you're an offensive guy, but now you're in charge of the whole thing. Looking at your defense, what do you see heading forward 2018? Well, you know, just going back to spring ball, without even talking to any individuals, just running to the ball yeah. and playing fast. You know, a, a confused player is a slow player. So we, we've changed some schematic things uh, defensively, and they 
they took all that coaching in the spring and they learned it fast and they just just ran to the ball and reacted very well and that's a sign of a, mm -hmm. a good defense you know the the touchdown savers on the backside and if he's not reacting correctly and, and fast enough that's that's where you get the the long plays so that was the biggest thing coming out of spring they learned what we wanted to throw at them prove that okay that there's no questions coming into fall camp they're going to do the defense that we put in and they're going to do it uh, do it mm -hmm. well but you know there's there's three-year starters with uh, with herrick in the back end you got mm -hmm. jacob berry as a, a linebacker i i think our our three down linemen um have a chance to be oh, real special gosh. i'm telling you they they did a phenomenal job this spring you mentioned uh um you know landon already but also then you got braylon sugg and then lord's will everybody will know lord's will he's right. the, that's the name he, he's he's the man child okay you know, you'll you'll see him with his uh his shirt off or even in uh in, he's, in pads he's, i mean he's he, the one who was walking off the bus first <laughs> <laughs> probably so. I mean, you, you've got some pretty good uh, biceps and triceps over there, but he's probably going to look a little bit uh, better than you. Not going to uh, arm wrestle him. Not no. going to arm wrestle Let's him. not go there. All right. Well, then let's talk about the offense, and, and any conversation about Hutto Hippo's offense is going to start with Chase Griffin. And I was telling you before we, we sat down and talked, uh, you know, Matt Stepp, our, our high school insider, caught up with him at the state 7-on-7 seven -seven tournament. Yes, sir. And I went back and watched it, and, and I was so impressed you know, I've seen the highlights, you know, and I, I know the, the, the t you know, the tangibles in right. one sense. I was so impressed by how poised this kid was yes, and how good, you know. I told you earlier, it seems like he gets it. And, and I think that uh, to me, and, and I'm certainly interested in your perspective on it because you know him better than I will. It seems like this is just a kid who's got a, his head screwed on straight and maybe that's his best attribute overall. No, it is. And, you know, it, it's not something that's just going to happen this year. It hasn't happened over the past two years. It's just a culmination of all the events that he's been through. Mm -hmm. You know, so credit his family for getting him into, you know, different camps, being associated with people, and just getting off the couch. You mm -hmm. know, I don't know if the guy sits at home any night without studying football, studying plays, quotes, uh, famous people, leadership. I mean, there's, you know. He's I, a junkie. I, he is. <laughs> I, I, and, and, you know, I'll, I'll tell you this. I, I moved 1,200 miles because of football. I think I like a little bit of football. You know, mm -hmm. I moved my family away from uh, uh, from Minnesota. I think Chase loves football. Mm -hmm. You know, just the time and, a, you know, the effort that he puts into it, the understanding of it. Uh, you know, Coach Van Meter, as many quarterbacks as he went through in, in his career, um, I don't know if Real he good would, ones. Yeah, I don't know if he'd say he had two that were as complete as him, especially from the mental side, mm -hmm. uh, the understanding, ne never, ever getting rattled. Yeah. I'm talking never getting rattled. So... You know, he's just one of those guys. But, you know, you, you alluded to um, the interview that he did with, uh, with Matt and think about all the positions that he named, mm -hmm. all the names that he named. You know, we just talked about our defense, and there's three or four kids that I should have mentioned right there. You yep. know, so it's, you know, the, the, the beautiful thing is that we've got, you know, a guy as good as Chase and all these other kids mentioned. There's all these other kids that are going to be hidden behind the scene that are going to blossom that maybe you don't know as a reporter. Yeah. We certainly know about those kids and love up on them and are, are glad to have them. I mean, we didn't even mention the receiver core, which is incredible. The offensive line looks like it. I mean, it's, it's there's this looks like the kind of team. You know, I, there are teams that when we rank them in the magazine, we have to, like, go out of our way to justify, be like, this is what we really see in them, and you may not see it, but we do. Yes, sir. I think it's obvious for you guys, yes, to be sir. real honest. Now, I do want to ask you. Uh, as a Minnesotan, uh, it's presently 109,000 degrees outside here in San Antonio. Uh, what do you think? I think it's way better than looking outside and, and thinking I've got to scrape that truck, and then I've got to go to my second school, and I've got to scrape it again. Cut on to Max on the, on the thumbs up because, <laughs> yes, absolutely, this is a man who gets it. Hot sure. is better than cold. It's Way better. Way better. I'd rather I'd rather be I'd rather be 150 degrees outside and maybe sweating and, and dying than scrape up. Snow is gross. It is. It is dirty. Way dirty. Oh my god. No I'm, contest. My my heart is so full right now. <laughs> now we go to the Dick Sporting Goods wheel of questions. Uh, nothing on here that'll get you fired, but. When you spin the wheel, you are legally obligated to answer the question <laughs> truthfully. So give this thing a that's spin. That's why I signed those seven that's, waivers. Yeah, those back seven there, waivers right? back there. Yeah, but you. like I said, nothing that'll get you fired. Let's see what we get. It's Brad Laplante, the Hutto Hippo, spinning the wheel of questions. Well, hold on now. Yeah. I, I don't know if I am obligated because I do not see any burnt orange on here. Okay. Yeah, I signed a contract with Hutto. That is ISD. true. That goes there's over no, years. There's no burnt so. orange. That's right. 
What All is right. your game day superstition or ritual? What is something that you have to do if it's Friday night, you know you're getting a game, you know you're going to do this? Got a new one coming this year. Haven't named it yet. Can't tell you. Here's why. Okay. Okay. It used to be a Snickers and a Diet Coke. Okay. A Snickers Six, and a Diet Coke. 16 months ago, I told myself I'm not going to have Diet Coke at work. I used to be the guy that had the big Bucky's mm -hmm. mug. I'd be at the Wagga Bag at 527 mm -hmm. waiting for them to open at 530. That'd be my first one. Mm -hmm. As a college recruiter, I'd go to bed with one sometimes mm -hmm. by my nightstand. So mm -hmm. very unhealthy. Change that. Dropped a few pounds. Maybe look a little bit better. Um, but there's going to be a new one uh, this fall that I'll have my uh, my coaches will help okay. create that one for us because it's going to be gonna, about us. But you want yeah. But you you, you want. Okay. I've got three to choose from. Three to choose from. Three to choose from, and they're going to help me. Can you give us one of them that they're going to choose from? If not, it's okay. Well, they don't even know about it yet. Okay, well, then so I don't want to throw spoil that out. Uh, I don't want to spoil as it. Of yet. Will you let us know when you oh, decide? Definitely. We'll promote it here on the show and make sure everybody knows that the Hutto <laughs> coaching staff is uh, eating a, 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 you know, a Milky Way and drinking <laughs> Big Red or something there like you that. Go. Would you be a little bit more Texan? There you go. Coach Bradley Plant, Hutto Hippos. Coach, really appreciate your time. Yes, sir. Thank you.